Um, I was about to set up the camera and say, hey, I'm just about to dry pack underneath the uh, footings and just as I was walking towards it, I've just seen a whopping snake. Um, where are you? Hmm. Can't see it easily. Let's get these covers up and have a look. I definitely saw him. The one place I've got a pack is underneath there, and um, I don't know if he's underneath there. <laughs> okay, so for now I'm just going to pretend the snake doesn't exist if it comes out and scares me later. Brilliant. Um, okay, so we're going to be dry packing underneath that. Um, we've got some coarse sand. We're doing a one in three mix with cement. The trick is, is not to have too much water because what we don't want is it to shrink back. So I'm going to do... A batch now get it to the right consistency and then we'll get it packed right underneath and hopefully not squish easily Okay, so what I've done is I've just mixed it to a nice stiff consistency. You don't want it wet, you don't want to be able to really have it so it's great and wet. You want it so it packs and goes. So when you clump it like that, see it's holding its form. You don't want it any wetter because it'll get the moisture from the air as well to help harden it. If you go sloppy, obviously it'll dry out and then shrink, so that won't be no good, but that's perfect. So we will now pack it. Right, I've tamped that screed mix all the way under as best I can. The next thing I'm going to do is because we've got the difference in the heights of the footings. This is an old ground force trick that I learned years and years ago. So. Here and here to create a retainer, I'm going to put some blocks, but I'm going to wrap them in clean film. So I'll wrap them in clean film, put them there. Then when I pour the concrete, that'll hold it in place for the concrete to go off. And then when I come along and just pull the block out, it will come away from it seamlessly because the clean film stops it from sucking in and bonding to it. So that's a good little tip that is. Um, so I've got to wait a day for that to dry and go hard. So the next video clip will be me doing this section again. Okay, so it's been over two weeks since I've been and uncovered this to carry on because um, I went on holiday and then we've just had torrential rain. It's been absolutely pants. The weather's been really, really bad. So I didn't want to be working in a quagmire and it's been horrible out and raining most nights when I get home. So <clears throat> looks like we've got a nice swimming pool feature. Somewhere for the mosquitoes to breed. Right. Now, theoretically, when I do this, the joys of the clean film, see, works a treat. You know I love a bit of live action. Remember that breaks the bond really easy. Okay, so my job now is to dry pack 
all that underneath there. So I'm uh, going to get a mix on and crack on. Okay, so I'm literally just sh shoveling it down where it needs to be, and then every now and then, after two or three shovels, I'm packing it in again and again and again. Great fun, hey? Good thing is there's been no movement whatsoever. None of the cracks have moved or opened up, so everything's nice and solid. You can see where it originally dried out, where you've got that little crack there as well, but that was always there, so you won't worry about that. In time will tell if this works over the next year or two, and like I said, I will continue up there. Which is not going to be fun, but hey hey. Okay, I had another session on this the other day, but I didn't bother filming it. But as you can see, we are nearly out of the ground and we are definitely out of the ground here. So um, it's getting a lot easier. It's up to my neck height when I get in that hole now. So I'm just gonna get these last couple of courses in inside and then I'll be clambering around and working off my knees, but it's going well and it's still working to gauge. Um, two more courses to go on that back wall and then that's the height we're working to. Happy days. Um, the reason they're all flied over is just to save cuts all on the ground. Why waste my time cutting it when it's going to be hidden? So that's the reasoning behind that. I've got some gear knocked up, so let's carry on. Okay, last one going in. I literally had to scrape the barrow, but fortunately we had enough muck rather than having to mix up a bit more. Okay, I've been checking, it's nice and level the whole way round. Now, originally when I did the gauge, because I wanted it um, below the damp proof course by 150 mil plus four inches of concrete, I put a mark here, which I can't see. You can't see nothing of the bent below. Well, that's 300 from the DPC down, so that's perfect because I wanted 150 mil below the DPC, and we only need about 150 mil of um, slab reinforced. You know, even that's excessive because it's only going to be foot traffic. So I'm very happy with that. Um, 
basically what we're going to do is put a sign up and see if people will drop off all their rubble and stuff so we can start filling in because I calculate we're going to probably need around 100 tonne which is quite a lot to buy in um, so if we can get it for free that's what we're going to try and do when we start landscaping there's going to be a bit of earth like that in that can come down here as well I've got some old manhole covers made of concrete so what I'll do is when I pour the slab I'll create a form inside of here that I make this smaller so it will sit inside the slab and we'll work all out so it's got its own lip in that so the manhole can sit on top and then we'll just have to make a little ladder as well so we can get in and out because it's just so just under a meter and a half to the floor level to get down to the meter so I don't think the meter man is going to appreciate having to jump down into a massive hole and also we're going to fill the bottom up with a load of pebbles so that will allow if any water penetration does happen at least it can soak down in a way um, but theoretically once it's all covered up we shouldn't really have that issue but yeah another successful product done project not product